So in this example, I've got an Atlas report in Excel here that pulls in data from Dynamics 365 for operations. As you know, if you've used Atlas, we can pull in data from many different sources such as CRM or other databases and store it in a single report in Excel. So what we can do with our reports that we have stored in our OneDrive for Business here, uh, we can drag them into the Atlas Automation tool and then we can define a refresh schedule. We can also uh, use the Process Now button to perform an on-demand refresh. So for the schedule settings, for example, uh, we can go in here and have this uh, refresh um, basically however we want it to. For example, every day at 5 a.m., we have this uh, Atlas Automation tool go out and bring in all of the new data that exists in our Dynamics AX system into that report and save over top of it. Okay, so we have a lot of control over the, the scheduling, such as the time of day, the day, uh, day of the week. So we can get very specific here. Uh, we can also get specific with the options for the refresh, such as replacing uh, and overwriting that file, or we can save new copies of the file. For example, if you want to run a weekend or a month-end report um, and save the previous report, we can do that as well. Now, in this example, I'll just replace or overwrite this same file so that when we come in in the morning, an, an email will be automatically fired off to myself and my team um, that contains the most up-to-date data in this report and it'll attach the report itself to the email for us. So let's take a quick look at Microsoft Flow to see how we can do this. So if you've not uh, been to flow.microsoft.com, we can go here and sign up for a free account. We can watch uh, some sample videos, um, but real quickly, there are several different templates out here to work with. So I'll just type in OneDrive and immediately we see some different uh, templates for us to begin using. So for example, I'm go I use this one here that says, get an email uh, when a OneDrive for business file is updated. Now we can get more specific. There's uh, further steps that can be added within these templates. We can add different conditions. Uh, for example, we can have um, the email kick off to a list of recipients that's stored in an Excel table, an Excel document, or a Google Sheets file. So it integrates with a host of different services and cloud services, not only uh, OneDrive. Okay. So what we'll do is uh, bring up this OneDrive uh, template here. And we can hit use this template and begin building. Now we do have to authenticate our OneDrive for Business account and our email account before we can continue. And then we can uh, specify the folder that the reports exist in within our OneDrive for Business. Uh, we can go through here in the email and get specific as well. We can manually type in email addresses. We can also use this add dynamic content button to, um, to add in things like uh, the file name or the file path. So for example, let me bring up my flow here. And we can see how I have it configured. So again, it's telling me that my flow is running. I can go ahead and edit it. We can see that I'm using anytime a OneDrive file is modified in my root folder, it'll send an email. Now we probably want to get more specific with this to, to choose a specific report folder so we don't get a ton of emails but you're free to customize that how you wish. Um, on the email steps, I've added some dynamic content here, and we can see we can provide several different email addresses. We can uh, modify the subject, the body, um, pretty much anything you want to, and here I'm including the actual file itself uh, as an attachment, okay? So I've got this configured, and what we can do now is go ahead and I'll run the Atlas Automation tool on demand. It'll process this refresh um, bring in all of the new data. Now, as soon as this is complete, uh, it took about seven seconds here. We can see that the, the refresh was done successfully. That file is now overwritten, therefore it's modified, which means this workflow is going to kick off and send me an email. Now, typically we should expect to see the email within a minute or two. So let's go ahead and observe uh, when the email comes in here. All right, so that took about a minute. And I've got this email brought up on the screen here. It's showing that um, that report there is now attached. It's giving me a little information that I provided in the body and the subject here. And now we're good to go. So we can really get a little creative and explore the power of Microsoft Flow along with the Atlas Automation tool to always have uh, our reports up to date and in our inbox. Um, if we can also use this me methodology for the automation tool to automatically update Power BI dashboards and Power BI data sets. Uh, so we can use these tools out there to always have the most up-to-date data about our business in our hands, uh, especially with our mobile phones and our mobile devices to keep us up-to-date and informed at all times.